and welcome to Film & Sound. My name is Andre Engelhardt. I'm a filmmaker from Germany, where I run a production company specialized in corporate films. In this video, I'd like to show you one of my favorite tools that has become an essential part of my filmmaking toolbox. And I think you too will find it useful. So there are a whole lot of different types of tripods and stands out there, whether it be C-stands, jumbo stands, wind-up stands, you know the drill. There is, however, another type that I rarely see other filmmakers use. I have found this tool so extremely versatile and practical, specifically for corporate and most indoor shoots, that I couldn't imagine working without it anymore. It's called different names by different manufacturers, but most commonly it's referred to as an auto pole. It's actually a super sturdy tension rod. The only comparable thing I've seen used in film are pipe and wall spreaders, and the way it works is similar, but so much easier and faster with the auto pole. And one person can usually set it up alone. By loosening this handle, you can adjust the length of the pole and position it between two surfaces. Then when you lock it back in place, it extends the pole out a bit further against a strong spring, thus tensioning it. With the rubber feet, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight, although I do recommend using a spurred level, which you can get specifically made for the auto pole. It'll also make it much easier to align anything you attach to it later if you know that the pole is straight. So why is this so useful? It's super compact and light to travel with, it's super fast to set up, and the footprint is infinitely smaller than that of any other type of stand. Not to mention you can mount more than just one or two lights per pole. Speaking of mounting lights, you can of course also mount cameras, backgrounds, modifiers, microphones, decoration, you name it. Another great usage scenario is using these for quick wire cam shots with a wire light or the SERP slingshot, for example. So how much weight can it hold? Well, you're not going to find any specific numbers because there are just too many variables to consider. Um, the wall surface, the extension length, the distribution of the weight. Um, but I've been able to mount four Aperture 300D2s with modifiers, plus some other bits wedged between two concrete walls. Now, obviously, you'll always want to have extra safety in anything you suspend. Um, one way I like to do this is to use two super clamps with a swivel attachment to lock two auto poles together. When using the auto pole vertically, make sure you don't tension against a weak or a drop ceiling. Um, in that case, if you haven't yet, get some drop ceiling scissor clamps. Um, they're another great tool for corporate jobs to have in your kit. So the auto pole comes in different diameters and lengths. These ones here are 150 to 270 centimeters and 210 to 370 centimeters at 45 millimeters in diameter. You can also get a mini version, I believe. And again, different manufacturers have different sizes with different strengths and weaknesses. You can get extensions for it. Uh, and even a tripod base that you stick the auto pole into vertically. Now, one thing I don't like so much about them is because they're made out of aluminum, when you tighten a clamp onto it, you have to hold back a little bit if you're used to clamping onto steel pipe. That being said, I haven't bent or dented one yet. On the Manfrotto auto pole 2, you can adjust between two levels of tensioning. Um, the second level is great for heavier loads and for horizontal mounting. I also highly recommend getting these protectors um, when putting these up at a client's place. Um, the black rubber feet do leave marks. As far as cost goes, currently they sell for around 120 euros for the medium and about 135 euros for the large version. So they're quite affordable, although you do need to add the um, cost of a few super clamps. So I hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you haven't heard about these before, or if you have and you've been using them, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. How are you using them? What do you do with them? Um, and I'd appreciate it if you could hit like and subscribe. And with that, my thanks to you for watching. Have a good one.